Hello there everyone and welcome to episode 4 of us playing in TNO The East is Red Submod for of course TNO But we gotta talk about the road away 1947 D-Bounds in Yunnan The days after the marriage were uneventful but happy Yang Ying Kai's fourth sister Yang Ying Ji I also traveled 20 miles from Yuan Yongjing to join her in order to learn some medical skills and her excellent medical skills and elegant temperament. One Yang Ying Kai, the praise of the townspeople, some Yao merchants with good connections had already established a regular supply relationship with the clinic. At the time when the rain was rustling and crashing down in the mountains and forests, Yang Ying Kai would hang a white curtain with buy medicine on the closed door of a clinic and take Yang Ying Ji to follow them over the mountains to Lufang County or even to Anning to buy medicines. When the rain rustles through the mountains and forests, Yang Ying Kai hangs a white curtain that reads by medicine in front of the closed door of a clinic and to Ying Ying Shi, whether she follows the Miao traders over the mountains of Lufang County or even to Anning, where she helps for medicines a journey that usually takes half a month if all goes well. The bell on the horse's back, or neck, <coughs> swung around in the rain, making a crisp a ringing sound as Yang Ying Kai and Yang Ying Shi rode their horses so cloaked in straw raincoats, along with the Miao merchant caravan through the forested mountain passes. Second sister, how much longer will we reach the Yunnan Burma Road? Ying Ying Kai. Left at the surrounding terrain, there is still a mountain to go over, and the mountain goes over the uh, Yiping Lang Coal Mine. You know, on Burma Road passes through the coal mine, and you can go to Kunming by following the road. She presses the brim of Ying Ying Shi's hat so that this 15 year old girl's handsome face is not splashed by the rain. It's raining heavily. An object as big as a pine cone rolled next to the Miao merchant's carriage. Ying Ying Kai did not pay much attention to it, but the object hit the wheel hub and actually made a crisp metallic ringing sound. Suddenly, she saw the old Miao man in front of her shifted as if he was suddenly electrocuted. And he opened his voice and howled while rolling and crawling to get off his horse and ran down the hillside. Grenade! Oh boy. Suspect related reports. Name is Wu Shubu, Shubin. Currently single and a native of Chongqing. I used to be a student at the Chongqing University. After graduation, I was invited to stay and teach at the university because of my outstanding ability, which during which I was discovered by Dai Li and tasked with spying on students. Later, in my order, in order to expand the scope of action, the NBIS allocated funds for me to open a tea house in Shamp. Shopping ba, and at the same time, I used my contacts at the school to collect intelligence. After Chiang Kai shek was assassinated, himself backed by Chiang Kai shek's die, and because of defending the leader's ineffective, was launched as a backstabber. Received most of the party state colleagues under siege, or NBIS, intelligence in order to defend the victory of the war. We, in order to fight the Japanese, sacrifice so many comrades. Chiang Kai shek's uh, Chiang Kai shek's death is not responsible for the is it not responsible for the CBIS? Why do we have to bear the brunt of the death of Chiang Kai shek? They even forced Mr. Die to die. The NBIS has also been disbanded. The KMT is truly chilling. But fortunately, there are still people who appreciate talent in the party state. The T also itself is doing well. So we didn't live on a tight budget, but we did live within our fingers crossed. I'm not 53. Um, Dao Yiming, a fellow member of the NBIS, approached me who was on the brink of extinction and asked me if I would ever work for Mr. Gao. I refused. How could a Chinese work under a Han Jian? How can a Chinese do anything that would harm his fellow countrymen? Then he said he was only an informer and that he was only collecting information from Chongqing and that would not harm the Chinese for the sake of the Japanese, and pleaded with me many times, so I reluctantly agreed. I was only buying information in Chongqing, and the main person in charge of all the operations was the liaison person, Yang Liu Qing, who did no evil and really had no humanity at all. I was really blind at that time and I regretted it too much, and I was ashamed of the Chinese people. There's not a word of truth in it, and it must be interrogated severely. We have no political power, which kind of sucks. Oh, look at this. So we have all this territory now. Chengdu. Oh, God. Yunnan, Chongqing, because this region is pretty well developed, 80%, it's pretty nice. Oh wow, look at all this stuff we have. Phosphate mines, gold mines, salt mines, iron ore. What do we focus on one area first to develop everything else? Is that possible? Oh. The Volkstadt, eh? We're going to need more political power, probably. Um, we always focus on South Jiang. Mm. Well, let's take a look and see this. It's on balance, because right now balances are kind of killing us. The art of policy. Good God. It's just, just destroying our political power game like crazy. And for uh, the art of policy, which is terrible. But Southwest Bureau now focuses on balance, which is okay. Um, 
for now. Let's keep working on this group. What happens when you hit 100%? That one over here. Or ability points. Gation on schools? Sure, why not? Don't forget about that. Actually, Congress is looking okay too. We have no money in our budget, but that's pretty normal, isn't it? It's pretty normal that we have no money. They're doing Dredge City still. Suspect related reports too. Honorable Chairman Mao and the people. My real name is Chen Xiaozong, a native of uh, Zhejiang province with a pseudonym Wu Xubin, and I have a daughter. I was one of the first students in the provisional training class, headed by Dai. After graduation, he was placed in Chongqing University as a military instructor to monitor the students and also collect intelligence through them. I was later allocated funds to open a tea house to further collect intelligence. What happened after that, as I said before, Chiang was assassinated because of his treachery. MBIS was disbanded. I was almost on the verge of closing down the tea house because of my ineptitude in running the business. Then I found out that my former colleague Tao Yiming was living in a fresh light. Rich life, I was induced to join the NSB. I'm sorry to the Chinese people, and I've already re realized my mistake after the liberation of Chongqing. I was asked by the Gao who's banned to collect information on the chiefs of the Sichuan and Chongqing regions and to plan for assassinations in an attempt to sabotage a revolution, so I collected lists of the guards and tried to use them as a starting point, but I didn't realize that the targets I contacted all had very high bottom lines and they didn't waver for a single minute under corrosion. Corrosion and temptation. After that, the Gao's bandits were heartless enough to try to release a virus plague into the liberated area to fight bacteriological warfare. They also released the poisons chemicals which killed the animals and plants that had been sprayed on, and lab been sprayed on would be barren of grass later on. That was my task to investigate the spread of the plague poison and to confirm that the objectives of the various batches had been achieved. I was looking at it with pain in my heart. I was not expecting them to be so inhumane. I couldn't realize my mistake, and I have long been brutalizing the people, undermined the revolution, and endangered the lives of the party and the people, and degenerated into a fascist lackey of Chiang and Gao's bandits. If I had not been captured and educated by the people, I might have even caused greater harm, and I'm willing to make a greater contribution to atone for my sins, but providing from now on all the information I know about Gao's public government. This time the intelligence is of great significance. It's recommended that be immediately reported to the central government. The public security departments establish relevant organizations to detect and prevent enemy agents, and the frequency of sabotage operations by the pseudo-government will decrease as their military professionalism rises. Huh. So we're here, we want to do this one. And then more food levy, which makes no sense to us. More stability when selected. Political power. Uh, honestly, doing both of these would probably be pretty good. And deficit's pretty high, though. So that's not bueno. But it is what it is. And inflation can higher, too. Uh, the Home Road, 1963, Gold Mood. As the only Hmong medicine pharmacy in Goldmood female boss in her early 30s, she was able to survive the storms because of the small pharmacy. Um, 47 years of Ning Yu merger, Goldmood a mountain high emperor far away, 52 years of the Third Communist Party, here as the Goldmood most stable pharmacy and by the Communist Party's courtesy. 59 years of the independence of Ma Jisai, clearing the Communist Party's evolved into a massacre, she was also by the pharmacy was spared. Until now, no matter how the wind and clouds change outside, Ying Yang Shi had little confidence. As long as the disease, the enemy that accompanied mankind for millions of years, still existed for one day, as long as she is still the only Hmong medicine merchant in Gunmud, she and this small pharmacy will be safe and sound, only she didn't know where her bitter sister was and whether she was still alive. It wasn't that she had inquired about her sister's whereabouts, she was just too young. It was only after the death of the belt Hmong, who had brought her to Golden Mood in the year 60, that she had taken up the mantle of the pharmacy, and only then had she been able to inquire about her sister. She knew well that her sister was a Christian. Since 1961, Yang Ying Shi had been deliberately asking about church around churches to see if they had taken a middle-aged nun in her 40s, but to no avail, and the only clue she had was that a church in Chengdu seemed to have taken a Christian who, was, who knew about medicine, but that too went unanswered. The time flowed so slowly that Gelimu Municipal Committee had uh, recently sent another batch of manifests, and the liaison officer looked anxious. Dr. Yang, the surgery department of the General Hospital of the People's Liberation Army, wants the batch of topical medicines, and here's the manifest. Yang Yingxi nodded and took the bill of lading, of lading, which is not in the usual square characters. How could the PLA General Hospital have a doctor who could write Bogorian Miao? Surprise, Yang Yingxi took the bill of lading, or lading. She decided to write down her doubts in Miao language in the bill of lading. At least this time it was worth a try. I'm looking for my sister. Her name, last name is Yang. Contact the Wei Men Union, only for people union. Founded in 1941, there's a cultural association by Liu Wenhui. The Wei Men Union, only for people, was run by a number of leading intellectuals. As a response to Chiang Kai-shek's attacks on public opinion, I was expected to merge with the China Democratic League in 1945, but after the armistice of 47, the CDL retreated to Xi'an and the relationship between the two organizations was severed. 
During the past 10 years, the Wei Men Union recruited members and developed underground organizations throughout Sichuan and Hong Kong and became the number one party under Liu Wen. Hui. Many of them were sympathetic to the Communist Party and relations with them should be developed. This approach was good for promoting the policies of the Northwest at the present time and in the long run helped consolidate the Southwest. And we'll establish a market, which I probably read last time too. With the backbone of the lower reaches of the Yangtze River, Sichuan merchants can no longer go to the lower reaches of the business, which caused the commons and business to suffer a serious blow coupled with the past Northwest hardline approach to the industrial and commercial transformation, so they have to shut down or flee with their money. The reduction of supplies caused local prices to soar, and the use of the army to force open the board doors of stores is no longer effective. In order to avoid further loss of wealth, we should all slowly establish a corridor for goods between Shangxi and Sichuan, and I'll open up trade between the two places so as to stabilize the market and take what we need. Poverty's getting worse, which is not good. Hey, 4% growth, that's not bad. Really not bad at all. 48.5%, as long as you keep growing that economy, that's what matters. No political power, but what else is new, you know? Cool. Um. So we're really trying to focus on this, but really, uh, uh, zones here. Two more ability points, nice. Let's put power and whatnot. It is what it is. Ability. Hey, that had a little poverty too. Hey, another production unit. Look at that. We actually have two. Look at that. Go figure. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And then build a bridge. In 1903, the Qing government proposed the construction of the Sichuan Han Railway Intention, the western section of the Chengdu Chongqing Railway. In 1936, the national government set up the Chengdu Chongqing Railway Engineering Bureau and began constructing the following year. In 1937, due to the outbreak of the war, war resistance against Japan and the stoppage, only 14% of the completion of the project, an inch of steel rain, or steel rain, are unpaved. After the war resistance against Japan, Sichuan rulers, although they completed the construction of the section of the railroad, also now had neg negligent management and maintenance, and for a long time in the state can be av available. In the recent war, this railroad exposed many problems and caused much trouble for the enemy. Now, they have control of the Rus railroad. It's clear that we cannot repeat the mistakes of the past, and the expansion of the Chengdu Chongqing Railway has become an important task in the construction of heavy industry. Unexpected good news. And old Kuang quickly comes... Uh, Comes quickly. The Sean shouting made the old Kuang laugh, and laughter is not without flirtation. What are you not to invite me to dinner? Come on, quickly, or good things are to be robbed. The Sean grabbed the old Kuang's hand and ran to the woods. To the woods, under the eyes of hundreds of balloons hanging in different trees, balloons are also fishing some canned food and leaflets. As long as been heard of the people here are scrambling to jump up to enough to these balloons. Actually said above the canned food, you are finally a bit useful. Old Kuang, with a bad smile on his face, also joined the crowd and grabbing the balloons until dusk. The people inside the woods had a good harvest, especially the and the old Kuang. The Sean looked at Lao Kuang proudly. These balloons can be used to make clothes. Don't throw them away. Well, what about these propaganda leaflets of the Gao's army? Can they also be used to make clothes? Are you stupid? Of course. Take them to the government for rewards. Old Kuang scratched his head, feeling that he was still old and dim, not as bright as, he, bright as young. So we had to look around and say something else. By the way, look at how much food we've taken. I don't think we'll have to go hungry for a while. Why don't we open a can of food tonight to celebrate? Let's go faster. It's been ascertained that the public government will from time to time carry out sabotage operations against me by drop propaganda leaflets and supplies. Weird. But interesting. Nothing here. Oh, wait, look at that. Yeah, so. 25 million. Is that going to be good enough? We were all pretty much in debt last time with 11 million. Party members? Slowly going up even more and more and more and more and more. Then look at the political power thing. Hey, look at that. 80%. Warmly welcomed. That's kind of cool. Very good. Either friends or enemies. A sweaty bolter. 
Oh, look at that. Grip the barrel of his rifle in an effort to control his increasingly rapid breath and pressed his arm against a wound in his lung as the best he could. You know how many men on the other side have been replaced by the bullets just now, but judging by the sound of gunfire and Cantonese yelling echoing all over the mountains, at least one had been wounded. Five minutes ago, the three of them, Xuanzi, Wang Zi, and Chen Jun, ran head on into three other patrolmen at the front of the foot of the mountain. All speaking with a southern accent, in accordance with the usual practice, Wang Ji penciled in hand signs and commands to them, but strangely enough, those three people did not react at all, which Xuan Zi repeated in a serious manner. Opposite a small white man awkwardly pinched in a military cap, his fingers twisted and twisted and did not make the corresponding command. In the next second, both sides suddenly realized that the bullets instantly whizzed throughout the forest. Xuan Zi dragged his bleeding body out of the tree, struggling to search for his comrade's body. Um, he heard the crunching sound of bullets shattered in the bone as they ran back together just now, but he didn't know who had fallen where or the other man was still alive. In his consciousness, which was darkening from blood loss, only one thing was certain, they have infiltrated the border. It's been ascertained that the public government will try and time care sabotage operations against one means of infiltration of armed squads. That kind of sucks. The Road Away, 1947, Anfang Camp. Wake up again. Yang Ying Kai had been lying in a tent in Anfang Battalion. She does not need a struggle, only needs to move her eyes from side to side to understand that this is the field hospital of the Dian Army. In the past eight years, she had been in such a tent countless times with the God of Death to snatch human life. There were quite a few young soldiers coming and going, and on the brim of their hate, or their hats, was there a familiar white sun logo, although she had been disappointed to the core with his round of white sun right now. Yang Ying Kai had to admit that she had more than likely been saved by the Dayan army and been brought back to life. She tried to move her limbs, not much pain, at least don't tact. She suddenly seemed to remember something. Swish, sat up, caught a passing soldier, beginning to ask, Jian Jun brothers, these, those people which accompanied with me. These young soldiers' eyes were confused, not knowing what this mo woman was talking about. We were ordered by Chairman Long to come to Lufang to fight the bandits. He glanced at the bed number. Your Vice Chairman Lu's personal guards brought back. I'll go to bring the company team of doctor over. You ask the doctor. Yang Ying Kai hurriedly nodded and sat back on the edge of his bed in disorientation. God, where is my sister? That's a good question. It's a contact with the Y Min Union, only for people union, of course. And poverty's not getting that much worse. It's not great, don't get me wrong. It's not getting that much worse, which is actually really good. Uh, what are we doing here? What is this? Maximum command power increase? It's not much. Um, of course, the Communist Party of China, Southwest Bureau. It's doing decent. You change it, hands on. Li Wang Zhang. When Zhang felt that Hanzong was getting bigger and bigger and the old downtown was gradually becoming connected with the railway station. The first bus uh, had just been open. The bus in the city. From ancient Han Tai to the railway station and back, and just in time for his daily commute, which seemed a bit out of place in the old bicycle at home. Of course, it's always good to have a bigger city. At least you don't have to wonder why the train station was built so far from the old downtown. Li Wen Zhang's uh, thoughts dispersed with the changing architecture outside the window. The building in front of him. As a general administration and food storage office building across the street is the Hanzong Railway Station Farmer's Market, where occasionally collected some food stamps and meat tickets to buy some food to take home, and the chickens and ducks of the farmer's market are freshly killed. Sometimes he would run into people selling aquatic products here, and usually he couldn't squeeze into the crowds of people coming to the market. Any fish was still too much of a luxury for most inland residents. After the intersection, there was a radio tower on the block, which is said to house the Hanzong Radio Station. But since he doesn't have the spare money to buy a radio, Li Wenzhang doesn't really have any real feelings about the tallest building in Hanzong. What he cares more about is the Hanzong Railway Station restaurant under the radio tower, where the railway station staff come together for dinner a year ago, and he was very impressed with the fried beef, but it's obviously not possible for him to come here and spend money on dinner himself, a meal that would cost him half a month's salary he can't afford to eat further ahead at the new warehouse of Hanzong Railway Station. Earlier, the railway station was repaired not long before the construction of Hanzong, which was ready to start. But because there's no qualified warehouse in Hanzong and many engineering materials and even winch cranes, these engineering equipment can only be placed in the open, left to the wind and sun, and the station and the final statistics down. Light tire leaks suspend the use of the truck there at least use 70. 70 brick, red bricks are to say at least 10 to 20, 10 to 20,000 pieces cannot be used. Cement is no way to say. Fortunately now there's a large enough warehouse, loading and unloading how much cargo does not matter. Attention comrades, the next stop will be the Hanzong railway station. Stand firm and hold on to it. The conductor's yell brought Li Wenzang's scattered thoughts back to reality, and he had to guard the ticket gate at the railway station again. Now Li is convinced of one thing: Hanzong is really getting better. Fantastic. Fan flippin' tastic. So now we got it done. Great. We have no treasure left because we're spending it on carrying out cooperatives, as well as encouraging young students to go to the countryside, which is killing our political power. Oh my God. Um, admin offices of stability and manpower. Production unit, uh, synthetic refinery, thermoelectric plant, which we could probably use, but it's not that bad. West Inner Downtown, uh, school and hospital's not bad, and South Downtown. I have an office and prison. Let's get that production unit. Northeast Downtown, looking pretty good so far. And this will help mm, the other group here, but not too much for us. Build a bridge. I think I this one earlier, so. If you want to do this again, please go ahead. 
and just recruitment will still begin to improve. That's good. Nice. Southwest Bureau. Looking very good. So what happens when he gets 100%? Is there anything that happens at all? Or There's one ability point. Hey, look at that. They're pretty happy with us. It's only going down by 0.4 now. Nice. Haitian hey, government overthrown. Very concerning, but we don't really care. I'll be honest. Inaugural Chief Executive Matsushita. Fun campaign. Deficit's not bad. I think I did do temp tax hike. Or maybe I didn't. Oh. The growth is pretty good. Inflation's going down. Debt to GDP ratio is going up slightly, which is not great. But we are maxed out for social expenditures. Looks like Borman might just win here. Happy March, though, as we are sipping on a cup of white tea. No coffee for now, because I'd like to be able to go to sleep tonight. But death from heaven? The light was no, and it should have been a peaceful night. If one ignored the National Army fighters, they were they were on the runway preparing for takeoff. An instruction came over Song Yan Min's headset. Formation 1 clear for takeoff. Roger that. Air defense control on Chengdu under the Kami was not perfect, and with an active downtown area scrambling to meet the light emanating from the heights, identifying bombing targets was no mean feat. The escort whistled and swept across the sky in a crucial, cruel arc. Flashing scarlet lights towards the bomber, Song Yan Min received the signal. Report. Formation entering over Chengdu city center. He lifted the button in front of him. With only one thought in his mind, with a single press of the button, tens of thousands of people would be killed by his own hands. Tens of thousands of lives pressed into his hands, making his whole body tense up and he could barely breathe. But he was still a soldier after all. His vocation was to obey orders. The right or wrong of the order had nothing to do with him. And it wasn't something he should think about. Report. The formation was approaching the target. In the end, he clenched his teeth and held his breath as he placed his hand on the button and pressed it hard. By the lights of Chengdu, he saw several black dots slowly drifting down from the bombing bay, reaching the ground in the scheduled time, but there was no fire, no explosion, and the roar of the engines remained the same. He picked back uh, carefully to the type of bombs he had mounted on his plane, but racked his brain and found no answer. Report bombing mission completed. Permission to return. Report I heard no explosions after dropping the ordnance. Please return immediately. Over. Maybe just some leaflets. Song Yan Min in, uh, swung the tail of the aircraft and once again pulling a silky arc towards home. What exactly were we dropping? Chengdu reports. An epidemic of unknown origins has been detected in the urban area. And investigations have confirmed that it was a biological chemical weapon dropped by KMT reactioners in order to sabotage the work carried out by the Central Committee of the Party in Sichuan. 24 KMT enemy agents have been arrested in connection with this poisoning incident. It's been ascertained that the public government, from time to time, will carry out sabotage uh, uh, operations against me by bacteriological weapons. Huh, well, that kind of freaking sucks. <laughs> I like to focus on Xinjiang because it, it, we're getting closer. And we're getting even that more too. Yan'an, Chengdu, the big old cities. Doing all right, actually. You know what? Chongqing. You're pretty well developed here. We still need a lot more here though, so we're gonna keep this one for now. Switching to the other map mode. We're doing very well here, which is very good. Anything else here? Here. Doing decently all around. Of course, going to be more any everywhere, yeah, but still. There's no place that's like maxed out yet for anything, so. Civil War in Ghana, nice. Uh, I read this one before, so you're going to tell Guan Machine Factory, please go ahead. Increase the GDP a little more. Even though increase our cost a little bit more, too, which is not ideal, but whatever. University of Xi'an. After listening, I think I read this one earlier, but uh, extensively to the suggestions of the education community, the comrades in charge of the new central government decided to establish a university in Xi'an to train highly qualified personnel and integrate scientific research forces. Land census. Since the great chaos of the 50s, we've not had time to update economic data for a long time, especially the farmland occupation in each country um, and village. County and village. The multiple forms of ownership are a mess, making it a challenge to implement a unified policy and causing even more waste of resources, which is not conductive to development. It's necessary to find the situation in the fields within three months so as not to delay, delay production. West African War? Um, don't really care. Doctors do the countryside. Yang Ying Kai ultimately did not understand why a surgeon would follow a group of agronomy researchers and even veterinarians to Jiang's field research. Uh, the highway from Hanzong to Jiang can only go to the county seat of Jiang, while their target village has to go over these four mountains. A group of people uh, over two big mountains will have spent five hours seeing the surrounding verdant towering. Yang Ying Kai cannot help but think of Li Bai's difficult road to Shu. It seems to be afraid that they feel no one can help deal with a wound, a wound before I called on. She thought as she panned and climbed the mountain. The sun was already slanted to the west, but alas, they had reached the last hill, and the group decided to rest on the spot for half an hour. 
A young faculty member who taught at the Southwest Agricultural College put his, head, his head, hand on the helm. That's where we're going. It seems to be a little different from the rest of the world. Following Yuan Ling Pin, Long Ping's dark arm, Yang Ying took a breath of cold air as she looked down the hill to the tiny village, unlike the normal farmland, which was green and verdant or golden and creamy. Not to mention the farmland, even the small forest around the village showed a lifeless, wilted yellow color. She subconsciously spoke. This is another time for harvesting rice. How come the fields in this place are wilted? Yuan Long Ping scratched his head. It's said to have been poisoned by the enemy planes. There are several other villages similarly struck. This time it meant mainly went on to take specimens and go back to study, and if that is, and the people's livestock are also affected by the plague, and comrade veterinarians, she'll take a look at the spot of the people of 301 Hospital said that you, Mr. Yang, have been to Sichuan before and will speak about Sichuan. The people of 301 Hospital said that you, Miss Yang, have been to Sichuan before and that you speak Sichuanese and know some bi biochemistry, so they recommended you to accompany us to participate in this research. Yang and Kai took a deep breath and nodded solemnly. Her thoughts drifted back to 10 years ago. She also set foot in a place where there was not an inch of grass, and she also taken care of a group of homeless children. I'll do my best to help where I can. It's been ascertained that the public government will try to take care of sabotage operations against me by disseminating toxic agents to destroying agricultural land. Hmm. Dead GDP ratio is not good. The road home, 1964, Gold Mud. Seems to have been in the Bugri. Oh, God. Oh, look at that. Uh, Bulgari, among Wen's bill of lading in that time. And Yang Ying Kai's. Uh, Yang, I mean, Yang Ying Shi's letter also stinks in the sea, and she's a bit huffy. I don't know which one of these daggers to take their fun. Obviously, they can't find my sister. Has been anxious like ants on a hot pot. Germa, Germu Health Bureau's supply section office door was pushed open. Yang Ying Shi walked straight to the ch section chief. Comrade, recently, Jian side of the shortage of drugs. Look at the sudden visit of Yang Ying Shi. The section chief appeared a bit overwhelmed. Haven't had a special order to uh, Liao Jiang. What are you? Uh, ah, it's fine. I'm just worried about the lack of medicinal materials in Jian for fear of delaying the revolution at work. Not a lack of goods. Not a lack of good, comrade. You busy? You're very busy. Yang Ying Shi's voice tone went up an octave at once, looking flustered. This was too out of character, rushing here like this for the sake of her long for sister. Uh, like an overbearing old man who was forced to be buying and selling. She panicked and closed the door to the, the office, leaving the chief of the section who didn't know which act was being played. Walking out of the health bureau building, Yang Ying Shi for the first time felt like the son of Gold Moon was so blind that she secretly made up her mind. Look at that. Next time I'll have to make a personal delivery to Xi'an. Some days broken mirrors can be reunited, destinies can be reconstructed, and the story is not yet over. Uh, Dev Team Note, Ying Ying Kai's personal story is still being written, so stay tuned for future hot fixes and updates. Oh, I don't know. Is that it for now? Come on. Please. I'm enjoying it. Oh, look at this. I want to do... I want more growth. But we need political power. Like, I literally have no political power. I'm glad we got this. Because that helped out. It really did. Look at that. Hey, Deaths is even better. Look at that. It's not costing us much political power. It's helping us with a lot of growth. I love it. It's almost slight deficit stuff. And we still have a lot of uh, inflation. But, you know, we're working on it, you know. Point minus three, three. Enemy disseminated plague by bacteriological weapons. Health Department reports. Recently in the lower... Oh, God. Main towns along the border found a small-scale outbreak of unexplained uh, plague phenomenon. After an investigation, it's suspected by the camp reactionaries to sabotage the party in front work and put a biological and chemical weapon. In order to avoid disturbing the military spirit and people with panic, the matter is kept secret for the time being and the situation will not be disclosed to the public. Looking forward to further instructions from the party central committee. A detailed report on the damages annexed here too. Preparation of medical teams for disease prevention. Oh god. That's terrible. How do we pre is there anything else we can do about that? Well, we're five. Everyone get an education. Look at that. 89.3%. That's very good. Uh, T's very good, too. And Pierre Pujad, good job. As everyone's killing themselves here. Nice. He's in the right, Borman. The political rodeo. Oh, God. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Uh. God. If it's your Xi'an, yes. That'd be good. Pull up, pull up, Prince. Digging canal. Well, we're gonna read about the road away in 1947 on Fan Cam too. 
Ying Ying Kai vaguely felt that the figure of the visitor looked familiar. It was not until she stood in front of her eyes that she confirmed that it was Fan Bingze, the dean of the medical student or medical school of the National Yun University, the same surgeon. But also in the Dian Army, anti Japanese field hospitals and th fought side by side. Fang Bingze saw this deceased heart and was also shocked. Xiao Yang, how do you. Personal reasons, and Qin uh, Dean wrote a letter of resignation. You can read it. In the past, before the old leader, Ying Ying Kai can only suppress a tone of voice. Fan Bingze looked around and came to Ying Ying Kai in front of him. Your letter is famous in Kunming. Some good things are sued to the uh, vice chairman of the Lu. Ying Ying Kai took a, sh hearts to heart took a shock, but quickly understood. If Lu Han, two years ago, really ordered a trackdown, even if he was a woman hiding in the Yun Yuan Yongjing compound, it will sooner or later be Yunan found out in the Yunnan army. Silent for a moment, Ying Ying Kai still spoke. Teacher Fan. I should be in Luo Chan to a flat wave to go to the mountain road attacked by maddens. Together with me, there's a team of Miao merchants and my sister. Where are they now? There's no one around you. A few of the Miao in front of you were blown up. A few were killed by random gunfire. I don't see any other women. We're almost as young as you. A thunderbolt struck into Ying Ying Kai's uh, fragile heart, tearing it apart. My sister, as I lost her, her legs were stopped and she sat down even directly on the wet mud ground. It's not easy to help Ying Ying Kai to sit in the bed steady. Fan Bingzie sighed. I have other wounded to see. First, I'll go. The small Yang for you, four feet and four hands well. After settling down, come to find me. I especially proved you as a company doctor. Lu, Vice Chairman, personally brought three regiments to Lu Fang to eliminate the bandits. If you stay here, you might as well find your little sister. Hey, look at all this green we got. Hey, academic base is going up quite a bit. Agriculture is still positive. Everything's positive, which is good. Well, okay, well, never mind. Admin efficiency is not positive. But we're slowly getting there. Military professionalism will increase later on, too. Because we have a dysfunctional uh, high command. Which really sucks. Which is almost uh, second from the top. And if we go down here, you get more political power. Um, better Navy organization. Worse supply consumption, I guess. Um, better division organization. Better division attack and defense. Recovery rate, planning speed, whatnot. So we're working on it, y'all. Slowly making our place even better. What do we got over here? 4.1, then that's not bad. It's still green, that's good. It's only costing us 0 0.02 political power, which is very good. Deficit has chunked down a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. And there goes the political power. We gotta get a canal, though. Um, Tao Hua and Huang Shui, or Huang Shui are two important rivers of the Yellow River. Huang Shui is in Qinghai, and Tao. Taohe flows through the Qinghai and Gansu, two rivers in history for a long time played a critical task in irrigation water. It's a pity that Mokli cannot manage to repair it. Now that the base has taken over the area, the heavy responsibility of governing water naturally falls. We should mobilize lo mo local people under the leadership of a party to repair the river, eliminate the disaster, and develop production. Cool. And some of our technology is getting research too. What more could you really ask for, you know? We're here to get better. Field census, huh? Yeah, um, seed improvement. Wheat, millet, sorghum, corn, and sweet potatoes, all these important food crops for us, and now the intensive farming of peasants is no longer enough to increase yields for food. Um, and the power of science is urgently needed to join. We have Soviet experts, and the agronomists among our, uh, them will set up an institute to work with the researchers to improve crops. Enemies, arms, squads, infiltration. During the last month, signs of suspicious activity have been detected in various places. On our front, accidental fires in grain cells, missing bank deposits, or even thefts from armories, and thanks to the efforts of our investigators, it's now been established that such incidents are the result of infiltration and sabotage by enemy and pseudo squads. However, my department did not track the enemy squad, and they appear to have achieved the objective and returned to the eastern area. A detailed operational report is, a report is attached. Summary and calculator losses. Oh god. With healthcare. Oh, he's, oh, look at that. So happy. And we're over here. And we're over here. Not bad, not bad. Very nice. Oh, experiment in a bend of Yellow River. The constant flow of river sediment and ideal irrigation conditions have made it a thousand hect hect acres of good land, a key farming area for the base area. Now, the Institute of Agricultural Research has come to the bond to select experimental fields for improved seeds, and the seedlings have been planted and are just waiting to blossom and bear fruit. Two infrastructure, nice. That slightly, slightly, ever so slightly helps out with, uh... We have a little bit of power, nice. We need more. And then next one we'll get more uh, stuff here, too. 
Alright, so for this, we want treasure. It gives us more stability, and gives us a slightly more political power. This one is not worth taking because it just hurts us. Um, I'd like to do this one prior to the development of military industry. I think that'd be very good to do, so we can do this, and we can do that. We don't have that much political power left. Oh, oh census field. Must complete land census before the next year's spring plowing. If you do not complete the task of organizing on time and delaying the production, the consequences are very serious. Go into the country to fight bandits. I like your wiggly stability. Who's this one? Land inventory. We, we have run out of time. Whether we finish this land census or not, the decision will not be available anymore. Uh, that's not good. I might go back and make sure that we can actually do that, perhaps. The Road Away, 1948, Pan Sehua. Ying Ying Kai finally refused Fan Bingzhe's proposal. It is not that she looked down on the former peer, simply because four years ago the provincial government left the anti Japanese cause closed the door of self protection of the cowardice and the doings of her shame. The brief lead, uh, the brief to the open family, to write a letter to report of safety, of course, 28 year old Ying Ying Kai completely did not have the courage to lie with the family of his mother. She wrote a letter to, truth, uh, to report truthfully the disappearance of her sister. She truthfully reported the disappearance of her sister and wrote a promise. I'm going to the north to travel to the doctor to look for my little sister. If I can't find her whereabouts, Kai Ir is willing to be expelled from the genealogy of the family and after 100 years she'll become a lonely soul and wild ghost and also have no complaints. The big words are out, put out. But how to find the little sister Ying Ying Ji but make her quite a headache. She wandered aimlessly through the streets of Panzi Hua town with her medicine chest on her arm. Not knowing where she was going to find her sister or what she should do in the future. The three years she had spent in her hometown had made her a little bit, bit blind, and she didn't understand at all what happened outside of Yunnan over the years. Finding someone requires capital, and the only capital she has is her heavy medicine chest. Fan Bingze is also secretly stuffed at a large pile of Western medicine and Yunnan Bao Bai Yao before saying goodbye. With the help of the medicine box and a little bit of uh, present notion, Yang Ying Kai set up an open air table on the only street corner. On the signboard printed on the white streamer was quite pragmatic. No fortune telling, but only see the sick medicine once the disease is removed. With superb medical skills and a large box full of medicines, Yang Ying Kai's stall immediately business booming. Headache and brain fever, small half pieces of aspirin, traumatic injuries to do a little surgery, a few stitches, and even as a midwife, less than half a month, Yang Ying Kai's wallet immediately began bulging up. But her mind is not on this, half a month in Pan Zi Zua, all kinds of sights and sounds that her gradually understand how the world around her has changed drastically, Germany, Italy, and Japan, under the iron hooves of the New Order to come to this miserable world. But in the Northwest, there's also a force that is struggling to survive in the cracks. Now to Shang-Chi, find the Communist Party. We're still doing alright here. Still doing alright. So, going up and down, up, up and then, uh, steady, plateau, and then down, and then plateau. I don't think just keep working on the digging a canal. Scenic improvement would be good too. <clears throat> His poverty is 0 0.02, which has actually gotten worse, which is not good. Healthcare quality development, huh? Expand the experiment of the Bend of the Yellow River, which would be nice. Goodbye, poverty! Huh. Although our base area is not too vast, the situation is highly complicated in the newly liberated areas. Because of the liberation is still only a few months, six months or a year away, the local land issue has not been effectively resolved, and industry and commerce have not been reasonably adjusted. However, we've already passed through the most challenging times and stayed by almost a quarter of China. We believe that the party is still vibrant and the reaction forces have not ended the Chinese Revolution. Chasing at night. The patrol leader with two soldiers chased the bandits to the front of the mountain path. The bandits can't run far into the mountain, pulling a big cart. Let's chase after them and get back early. Yes, sir. They went over the small hill and saw the grain wagon that had been robbed by the bandits, which the grain bags and a mess and the grain scattered are all over the place. They should escape with the grain. Look around and chase towards this largest one. Not long after, all the way down, the wild Artemisia led them to the middle of the dense forest and a clearing track interrupted and around the darkness was incomparable. As the soldiers searched for new clues, the captain snapped out of it and hastily ordered a retreat. They heard a sudden burst of gunfire, a soldier was being shot and fell to the ground. And saw the retreat had been blocked by the bandits who were still closing in on them. The many two quickly hid behind a tree, and the captain asked, Dabao, did you see how many of them there are? Five or six. You attract all aim. Yes. Dabao left and hurried to the next niche tree uh, branch, probably, and the bandits and bullets immediately flew. Taking advantage of this opportunity, the captain raised his gun, aimed at a foolish man crouching behind the grass, and pulled a trigger, and when the man fell with a sound. The man fell to his death, the opposite side shot, and the boss sticking a bullet retreat. Once the shout passed, the surroundings were sound as usual. The captain hid behind a tree, calmly observing whether the enemies were still around, and turned his head to greet Dabao to report the enemy situation. The band seemed to run away, Captain. You are good. One shot to take out the opposite leader. As best, they're scared away. We must still continue to chase. Two people slowly uh, came out of the bunker, back to the empty field on the back of Comrade's remains, and continued to chase the bandits. There are also two bandits' dens. Diary of a Battle. On the 1st of July, 26, 1946. 1964, I mean. Cloudy. 
In the early hours of yesterday morning, my reconnaissance post detected red flares from enemy bunker groups number 31 and 35 on the east bank and from the position of high ground, number 32A, and 15 minutes later the enemy's artillery group launched a large-scale artillery bombardment at a number of my strategic points. My reconnaissance unit observed the day. Before yesterday, in the aforementioned positions had begun to build temporary fortifications and sent the information back in a timely manner, effectively assisting our troops and evacuating and relocating the people. This resulting in a few casualties from this round of artillery shelling, but still causing serious damage to my infrastructure and key transport routes. So a change in the situation. It was too late to report to the military commission. Our military region immediately mobilized our artillery units within 50 kilometers of the place under attack to carry out counterattacks. And the large-scale artillery battle between the enemy and us lasted a total of 85 minutes. With instructions from the staff department of the military region to set up artillery units on duty at each of our artillery positions within the next 72 hours to give targeted counterattacks and to update the artillery units, firing units, in accordance with the regularity of this enemy's artillery action. Losses from the shelling need to be accounted for. Great. I'm doing this one a lot because I want that growth rate. Because we come here, it doesn't help us, it hurts us. It's okay. And this one is 0 0.02. This one is 0 0.002. Actually, I guess it knows much, yeah. Well, it is what it is. Hey, look at that. Holy shnikes. 5.445? Holy crap. This is way higher, though, too. What did we do? Oh, there goes JFK. Goodbye, JFK. Oh, I'm out of tea. Darn it. Focus on healthcare. I don't want to hurt our political power anymore. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, what do we have? Carry cooperative thoughts. Oh, we have one thing here. Oh, uh, I see. Cool. Oh, God, what do we have here? We don't have political power. How are we supposed to get political power with all this? Dismiss cooperatives? The four cleanups? Their still lenses hasn't been finished or invalid? Poverty? Let's use civilians' guns. That's definitely not worth it. Oh, look at this. Now we got it. So, that's the so thing about that. I don't understand this completely. But I think I mostly understand. So we got 80 political power. We're going to lose that immediately. Um, we got seed improvement. I want to do all this stuff because right now, uh, the effects of the legacy of the Greedy Port is disastrous for us. It's hurting everything we do. It's so bad. It's not funny. That being said, if we can lower the effects of it, that'd be great. So when we remove poverty, we'll begin to slowly improve and lower that, which would be good. Decrease one level of hurt of the Great Leap Board. Poverty will get better. I like that. We wanted this one too. Yes. 5% uh, stability is not bad. When we remove, we get infantry rifles. Do we need infantry rifles? We're good on infantry equipment, so actually, I'm not going to take this one. I'd rather take this one. And I'm going to increase the growth and inflation, but still, whatever. Because this, I'd rather hit with hurt political power here. And there you go. The Eighth National Congress of the CPC. With the steady economic work in the base areas. Um, I think I this one before, so you this again, please, go ahead. The party is not wallowing in failures of the past. The party organization, the front still maintain the enthusiasm of vitality of the revolution, and the Eighth Party Congress shall be a Congress. To sum up our past mistakes and achievements. That'll be a starting point for our future journey to liberate China in magnificent ways. Happy September, everybody. Keep growing up higher. It's hurting us now, though. God, we're losing so much bit of power. So, if effects are not complete within 40 days. We run out of time whether we finish the line of census or not, this decision will not be available anymore. So right now, it's 0 .03, which is even worse, oh god. Census is going on, but now it's not. 0 .03, hey, look at that, that's even way better. Theater of the United Front. Um... Walking together. 
Military advisors. Stabbed in the back. Probability of enemy attack. Like you see, hey, that's oh, look at that. That's a, that's a little better. It's not that much better, but it's helped out a little bit. Slightly more political power, better needed consumer goods, better recruitable population, construction speed, agricultural monthly change, production efficiency growth. So that's better. So is that, any of that stuff fire? That's good for us, or is it all bad? So even though we selected them, it was a waste of time selecting them. So we wasted a bunch of political power. That's a com complete amount of crap, but whatever. We rode away in 1950, Chengdu. Chengdu has long since recovered from the war, but the massacre is waged by the Central Army. I still brought permanent trauma to the area, and walking through the streets, Yingying Ying Kai can still see many ruins left over from the war that were not cleared in time, as well as patches of temporary refugee camps. Yingying Ying Kai sobbed in front of an old Catholic church and subconsciously began to draw a cross on her chest. The years of traveling had left her with no time to think about. Her religious identity was only at this moment when she saw the cross that she suddenly remembered she hadn't, hadn't worshipped for two years. God dang. Um, and she walked through the doors of the church with a mixture of devotion and guilt, only to find that it was in a congregation of worshippers instead. The babble of children reading from a text echoed through the hall, and just below the crucifix, the old nun wrote China on the makeshift blackboard in a single stroke. Yang Ying Kai didn't dare to serve the children's lesson, but just found a bench and sat down uh, to pray silently. When the, when the children left the class and ran away laughing, Yang Ying Kai finally came up attentively and asked the old nun who was cleaning up the blackboard, Excuse me, is this church actually an orphanage now? Alas, it all dolls with no parents from the Central Army's massacre some years ago, so we made some room out to take the dolls in and raise them. The old nun replied, listen to your accent from uh, Yunnan. Yeah, so I heard that the Communist Party in the North is still fighting the Japanese, so we want to go there. The old nun nodded. It was not easy to walk, right? Look at the patches on your clothes. Ying Ying Kai blushed as she was caught in the middle of the conversation. She hadn't saved much money from her medical journey from Panzihua to Chengdu, and it would take some time to get, uh, save up, find a job in Chengdu. The other nun saw her dilemma, but not reveal it. She smiled. Can you read and write? Would you like to come here and help me lead the dolls or children? Money is easy to pet say. Ying Ying Kai pondered for a while and unable to find a reason to refuse. It wasn't often that one could teach her children so it would be convenient to do her daily worship, so she solemnly nodded her head. Yeah, I would. Hey, yeah, research says we can improve. That's good. She gets another level hurt from the Great Leap Forward. And then, 8th National Congress, the CPC. I get another research slot. Holy crap! And remove the broken United Front. Get more stability? I think we're going to have a good old Blue Water Navy. We're going to have a global fleet. And so we can distribute them across the world. You know. Because we have all that coastal territory. Get that growth going. 63 days left for that one. Nice. Goodbye, poverty. We're no longer poor. See, happy Chinese New Year. Oh my god, it's a 49 day focus. Oh, look at that. We have political power. Look at that. Oh. Hey, this is looking really good, though. Finally. We're all green. Hope we can rapidly accelerate how much we learn. Having efficiency still you're not getting that much worse. Enemies, arm squads, infiltration. Ah. Nice. We're going to do it again. Screw it. And we'll get more political power next after that, too. We got two. Because I want to do the one for three. Either better industrial equipment. Or. Happy November, everybody. We'll do this one. The canal and build got. Industrial equipment. Speed has improved slowly. Prove slowly. Get infrastructure here too. Temporary some more construction speed. So wait, to so get the same stability increase, spend the same amount of money, same construction speed, increase cost by 0 0.005. Same industrial equipment will be getting improved, but this one you give infrastructure. So why would we not choose this one? That makes literally no sense. Why would we not choose this one? Feel getting better. I love it. Military's looking decent too. 
Nice. And all that. Can, we, can, we, can we just recently, Shang Chi says you want Zhang Jing a number of villages found in large areas of crops but without uh, phenom wither phenomenon. Bar the disaster is extremely serious after an investigation suspected of being by the KMT's reaction for his actions. In order to sabotage the work of the party in the front and put a highly toxic chemical agent in there. In order to avoid disturbing the military as well as people into a panic, this matter is further confidential and not to be disclosed to anybody. As we look forward to further instructions from the party central committee. Deep report on the damage. There's an annex here, too. In the event of a poor harvest, supplies will be collected from the local greeners and provided the relief to the areas. Oh, great. They're destroying our agriculture. But happy Chinese New Year, everybody. 6% growth. That's fantastic. Growth Inflation's not bad, either. Just as deficit's really bad. Yeah. In order to promote the Gregorian calendar, the countryside has not had a Lunar New Year for a long time, but the Lunar New Year's Eve is a still a custom that real people can get hardly get, let go of. Whenever this day is approaching, all families will start making preparations. The village fairs punctual and intellectuals who write couplets, a pair of couplets, itinerant vendors who sell New Year paintings, most of which are Chairman Mal of uh, Agricultural Harvest, two or five cents apiece, and stick to the ground house for a year. The year of the Gregorian calendar is also one of the few days when families will buy meat to save a year of meat stamps to be used on something useful. Buy some fatty meat, streaky pork home to make up for the oil. Female comrades also to buy five or six feet of cloth to make new clothes for the children at home. The commune secretary Zane got up early. The large room in the courtyard swish, sleepy weeping the ground. The western courtyard of the old leaves and the house mouthwash. Heard the movement outside with a mouthwash cup pushed out of the door. Zhao Zhang, get up so early. It's almost New Year's Eve, so do some sanitation and look clean. New Year's again, it's only only one isn't enough, huh? Just consider me addicted to do this. Seems like to be sarcastic. Lao Li fussed to go to the broom close to Lao Zhang and said, In fact, we all have addiction, but the superior is not advocating for it. Hearing this, Zhang grinned, picked up a large broom and said, Go into our new house tomorrow after work. Let my wife make two dishes. Let's get, drink a little. Deal. Capital now is Jian. Look at that. New land reform. Many new liberated areas have not yet started land reform, and the party central committee has issued instructions. Where land reform is finished, we must protect the peasants' right to use the land where they've acquired. In areas where land reform has not been carried out, we must mobilize the peasants. Peasant groups must be established, and through such steps as removing bands of bullies, reducing rents and interest rates, and distributing land, the peasants must have their land. Nice. Now what do we have over here? Cooperatives. Support rate inter-party mouse faction will slightly drop versus Liu's. Furthermore, the four cleanups. 6% support rate. Opposing rash advantage. Rash advantage. City first. Oh. Rural equals the city. Strength of the central plan committee. Oh. Of the major faction. Take full responsibility. Support rate inter-party of mouse faction and dang support will slightly rise. Make money first. Accumulate first. Cultural protection. National autonomy versus rebuild the Red Army. Party leadership. Break the blockade. New peak. Well, honestly, I don't know. But there's a lot of political power. Um, I, I, I definitely have to go here. Mal's and Dang's faction. I don't know which one I chose last time. I probably chose Mal's stuff, because maybe we'll go against Mal for now. Which sounds like a bad idea. Because I would like Dang. For, comrade. Furthermore. Cooperative? Under the leadership of the party, a large number of cooperatives have been organized through various forms of mutual aid and cooperation to promote the collectivization of agriculture. I believe that the strategy is sound practical, given the current economic base of the liberated areas. We need to put forward a moderate uh, proposal of the 8th National Congress that will not frustrate the peasants' enthusiasm. So, yeah, let's go with that one. But if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow, as we are now on the path to being more and more successful. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.